Okay, I am starting in on lunch, and I am making salmon and couscous. And right now I'm working on the couscous. I'm melting um, three tablespoons of butter. And I think that's pretty much melted enough. <laughs> And then I have, this is Mid-Eastern Couscous. It is a little bit bigger than regular couscous. Whole container in there. And then, you just make sure you coat it and get the butter all over it. And once you have your couscous coated with the butter, I'm just going to take two and it's going to be two and one fourth cups of vegetable broth. I already put in one cup. second cup and my one fourth and then I'm going to bring my heat up just a little on high because you're going to bring this to a boil and once it gets to a boil you're going to put it on low and let it simmer Okay, while my couscous is starting to boil, I am going to start on the salmon. And right now I have a half a cup of water in there. And then just I'm going to squeeze. I usually, the recipe calls for the juice of a half a lemon. But I am actually going to do a whole lemon this time because this lemon is really, 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 really small. And then you're just going to leave that and bring that to a boil. And my couscous is boiling, so I'm going to come and turn it down all the way on low. And I'm going to stir it one more time. Cover it. I am actually going to let that simmer for about five to seven minutes. And then I'm just going to place my salmon in there. And then I am just going to cover that and let that sit there for eight minutes. Okay, well I have the salmon and couscous going. Um, I'm going to take my green onions or scallions and all I did was chop off the ends. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of sea salt. Just drizzle that over and just a tad of the sea salt. And then I'm just going to mix it all up. And I'm going to stick it in my little oven, as somebody told me this week. And I'm just going to do it at, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's at 400 degrees. Okay guys, my timer for the couscous went off. So I'm just going to open it up to see if all my liquid is gone. And it is. I'm just trying to stay away from the steam. So now all I'm going to do is just add a teaspoon of sea salt and I usually <laughs> and yes I know that's about a teaspoon because it's about what I put in the palm of my hand <laughs> I'm just going to stir that in 
And then I'm just going to set that aside. Um, I put my fish on um, low medium heat and my timer just went off for the eight minutes. And so I am going to try to flip this with one hand. You just take it. Sorry about that. I had to put you down to flip it. So I just flipped it and then I put um, a little bit of butter on top and I'm just going to cover this side for the eight minutes and then dinner will be done. My fish is almost done and I'm going to take the green onions out and I had them in there for just about eight minutes. Okay, lunch is on the plate. Um, and while everything was cooking, I just made a small side salad with baby romaine and cherry tomatoes. And then to plate it, we just put the couscous on the bottom and the fish and then the green onions on top. And that is lunch, so I'm going to go eat with the family. Bye! Hi guys! We just ate lunch and it's such a beautiful day out today that I decided to go for the walk. My little ones are tagging along and I'm waiting for my little one because they're both on their scooters. Somehow that doesn't seem fair that they get scooters and I have to walk. But <laughs> Come on Munchkin! So we are just, as you can still see, there's snow on the ground, but it was so warm today that it melted a lot of it. And I'm just going to walk up and down our street. See, there they go. Down the hills. Which is funny, because I'm getting more of a workout than I thought I would. Because <laughs> my little one decided it wasn't getting enough workout, so I had to push him and his scooter up two hills that we do, but um, yeah, he doesn't let me go down the hill with him. Yeah, I know you're all wet because you're standing in water. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm walking backwards because my kids are still that way playing in the water. But um, that's pretty much the end of my walk. was not really sure how long it was because I just walked up the hill into the end of the street and then walked back up the hill and then down the other end of the street and around a cul-de-sac twice and getting ready to walk back up my third and final hill to get back to my house. But it's really only like right there. So not that long of a walk, like two more minutes and that's about it. But at least we got outside today in the nice fresh air. Well, it was a nice day because it was supposed to rain for the next couple days. So you're soaking wet. Good. <laughs> Apparently, my son doesn't want to walk on the road. He's like cutting through the backyard <laughs> to get through our house. He's cheating. He's taking the shortcut. I probably shouldn't have done that. No. But that's it for today, guys. And I'll see you guys. When I see ya, have a good night. See, he took the shortcut and he's sitting there waiting for us. Like, what took you guys so long? We went the long way.